Hey guys, so I previously went over how to open the Pine tab briefly, but I need to do so again today, so I thought I'd catch part of it on video. So I have to change out this antenna holder. What you'll do is put your thumbnail right on the middle of each side, and you can loosen up them this way. Do the middle part first, as it'll put less pressure on the glass. You don't want to crack your screen doing this. So I have read some reports of people cracking their screen, and that's part of the reason I want to help out and show how to do this properly. I have to change out the antenna. In fact, I was able to get a hold of these. See how there's a bend here? Originally on my modification for the threaded end, I actually took pliers and tried to bend this black part here. Now that is not a great idea. I highly suggest getting one of these because what this is, is it adds the bend in it right in the part. And so you can hook this to the antenna clip and then you can push this part through the hole here in the back, as you can see right here where I drilled it. Now you'll want to measure and carefully get this hole in the right spot because if you don't do that, you may have a pulled tight wire or you may have a problem with the wire ripping or you might have too much wire. So as I go around it with my nails, I'm being very careful not to bend the screen in the process. I save this part for last, as you can see right here, because this part is actually, if you can see it in the video, it's actually latched over and you could break your screen or cover by attempting to just force this off. And after you've gotten the middle sides undone, you'll then easily slip it right off like so. And as you can see, now got the cover off. You can take a look at the inside. As you can see right here, we have the RTL SDR. I'm going to unclip the factory antenna very carefully, I put a little pressure to hold it down so I don't break anything. Then I slip that underneath one of my ribbon cables to hold it. And then I'm gonna put on this new one here. This one's more perfect for what I'm doing. So snap it on carefully. There you go. Looks like I got it. Now, I'm going to slip it through this hole here. First, though, I'm going to undo this bolt here and the washers. And I'm going to be doing a lot more SDR videos now that I have the right parts. Just got this in the mail today. So now we have that and we thread it through here. And we have our new antenna port with the right parts this time. It's a very important thing is to use the right parts because what actually happened was I twisted my antenna too much and because there was already pressure on that black piece I used the pliers on I really shouldn't have continued tightening the antenna because it spun it around and it actually broke the wire but this is the right part and you want to make sure you're using the right parts for your jobs and look at that, perfect. And now we have a perfect little antenna port and we can snap everything back together. You can screw on an antenna like this LoRa one here, which works great for LoRa reception. I'm gonna go over different antennas and the benefits of each one, why antennas work the way they do, why certain antennas pick up certain frequencies and others pick up others better. And that's it, there we have it. So, we have a great, now I have to still, of course, when you latch it back over, pay close attention to this end. Because what you want to do is you want to slip it through this hole in the back cover. See, there's actually a hole there. And that will be the first side you attach. And then you'll go around the outside and do so like that. Okay, so now that I have my antenna hooked up to my new threaded port on the back here, I slipped the wire through here 
and it actually fits right inside my little stand here. And after I do that, we can take a look at the frequency and see what's going on with this LoRa device I have right here. So this is sending out small hello messages every five seconds or so. I have it powered with a battery right here and it's used for LoRa communication which is low energy radio. So let's go ahead and turn on our software defined radio. Let's listen to those messages. So as you can see here, you can actually see those hello messages going out. Now, the thing about antennas is different antennas will work to pick up different things. So you can see everything works with the modification. And I can also screw on a LoRa antenna back here as well. So that's what I got today, guys. That's how I did that modification. I was very careful to measure my antenna wire and make sure it wasn't putting any pressure or strain on the wire. And then I carefully drilled a hole just big enough for the threaded end part to come through. So I only drilled a hole big enough for this end so that I could use the bolts that come with it to secure it to the back cover. So that's how I did that. And look forward to doing future SDR videos now that I have the right parts together and there's no pliers needed now <laughs> so that's what i got today guys like the video share it and subscribe and i'll be have more uh videos coming up on the pine tab sdr and the pine phone